What is going on guys? Before the video gets started, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a picture of just kind of where my life is at currently um, because I haven't posted long form YouTube videos in quite a while, um, but I'm looking to get back into it because the prep has officially started. So I'm officially cutting again. I'm trying to lose body fat, get shredded. Ultimately, the goal is to compete in a show around July or August. I haven't picked the exact show yet, but that is the general plan and I'm running a summer shredding competition for a bunch of people on my social media and that will end July 4th. So the goal is to be pretty much as shredded as possible by July 4th and then I'll probably be competing in a show sometime in the few weeks after that. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit more of a picture um, into my life. So right now I'm a full-time online coach. Um, I do personal training on the side at a local gym um, and pretty much my life has been great ever since I quit my job. I know that was one of the last um, YouTube videos that I made, um, but I pretty much just been doing my best to build my coaching business, um, and it's really, really paying off, and it's also been a very, very fruitful endeavor. Like, I feel very, very fulfilled helping people lose weight and helping them with my fitness goals, or with their fitness goals. It's definitely been my dream this entire time. Um, so, I'm, as usual, I'm sorry for the absence, but Hopefully I'm gonna get back into the routine of posting once per week during this prep to keep you guys updated and to sort of give you guys a deeper look into the process um, of cutting and how different things affect me um, and the different bumps you know that I go through because ultimately I want to show you guys that it 100% is possible as soon as you put the principles um, to, to work. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was a full day of eating on my bulk, so I hit a new all-time body weight at 225 pounds, this bulk, um, and this is basically one of the, like pretty much the foods that I ate to get there. Um, the truth is, this isn't the highest I ate. I actually ended up eating 5,000 plus calories for a few weeks in a row to make, like to push the weight, but it was just too hard to eat 5,000 calories per day after a couple weeks, I would just burn out and I have to go back to 4,000 calories. So this is a happy medium, right around um, like see 4,500 calories or so per day is what I was eating to get up to that 225 pounds. Um, but yeah, be sure to stay tuned for the next couple videos because I will be back in cutting mode. So I will be showing you guys that whole process as well. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Be sure to like and leave a comment if you haven't already. Tomorrow is officially March 19th, which if you've been watching any of my most recent recent shorter videos, it means that tomorrow is supposed to be the start of my cut. But the thing is, I just got home from San Diego, I was hanging out with Dylan O'Brien, and pretty much what I decided is, is that tomorrow I am going to stick to my original bulking diet, and I'm going to walk you guys through it, take you through a little bit of a full day of eating, walking you through every single meal throughout the day, showing you guys the macro breakdowns of what I was eating towards the tail end of my bulk, and then start the cut fresh on Monday. So that is the plan. I wanna be able to give you guys a little bit of an idea what my diet has been looking like during this bulk, because I really have done a bad job at documenting it in the long form on YouTube. So. If you guys aren't already, be sure you're following the Instagram because I'm making sure to post really, really regularly up on there, Brandon underscore C underscore Clark. Um, and let's get into this full day of eating. First meal of the day is going down right now. I'm gonna show you what I've got going on. So it's all put together in this massive omelet right here. And pretty much what I have in there is I have four ounces of 90 10 ground beef. I have four slices of this extra lean uncured ham. So there's five grams of protein per slice. I have about five servings of these bacon crumbles sprinkled on top. The fat adds like a really, really nice taste. And then I've got four eggs in there at the very, very bottom. So this is pretty much all fat and all protein. And the reason why I really like starting my mornings off with just fat and protein is because I feel like my brain just functions a lot better. 
versus if I wake up in the morning, I have a big bowl of oatmeal or some cereal or something like that. I feel like the carbs tend to slow me down, like mentally sort of put me in a brain fog. But with this omelet right here, I get a great start on my protein for the day, like insane. It's a ton of protein and I'll throw all the macros in my fitness pal up, um, but it's a really great way to start the day. And then I also feel like when I place my carbs more around my workout, it actually helps me get a better pump compared to if I just eat all of my carbs throughout the day. All right, you guys, so here it is, the first meal of the day. One thing that I find with so many people when it comes to trying to hit their macros, they just, they wake up in the morning and they'll usually have some like trash meal. Like whether it's cereal, like donuts, like something, something just stupid. Like breakfast foods in America are just so full of carbs and sugar and I don't understand it. It's just a terrible way to start your day. If you are somebody who is trying to hit a protein goal, you should most definitely be starting off your breakfast, your day with a massive amount of protein so that you can front load and you can have a little bit more relaxation later in the day and you're not struggling to hit those numbers because when you eat a massive like bowl of cereal, that just means that you're gonna have to be eating a ton more protein tonight if you actually want to hit some high numbers as far as your protein goes. So this meal in and of itself has 80 grams of protein, 41 grams of fat in here. All right, you guys, second meal of the day going down at 12.30. So this is what I'm gonna kinda eat before I actually eat my lunch. Um, but this is sort of begins the carb up process for my workout. So I'm gonna have quite a bit of carbs. I've got 80 grams of oats here. And then pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add in some rice protein powder. Now they just came out with the birthday cake flavor. Um, I don't feel like birthday cake would go very well in my oats. So honestly, I'm just, I'm not even gonna try that because it, it, I don't know, that just birthday cake in oats would be very, very interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the cinnamon toast. This is definitely my favorite flavor, even though I still haven't tried this one quite yet. But I'm gonna go ahead, put one scoop of the protein powder in there, and that is going to put me right around 100 grams of protein for the day already. So starting off super strong, with trying to hit the macros. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then I'll take you guys through my next meal which will be actual lunch here in about an hour or so. So for the first thing that I'm gonna be eating for lunch, it's gonna be one of these rolls that we get from a local bakery. They're like 250 calories each. They're really like healthy, like good quality bread. And then I've got this organic raspberry spread. If you guys aren't utilizing like jam or jelly basically on your bowl, I would seriously recommend doing it because it is pretty high calorie and it really like it goes down very, very easily. My main meal for lunch, I'm gonna be having six ounces of 90-10 ground beef with 200 grams of rice. I'm gonna be having two servings of these baby carrots here. The fiber really, really helps out with digestion and also an apple because guys, make sure you're getting enough fiber in your diet, especially when you're eating a ton of food because your digestion needs to be on point because if your digestion starts to suffer, you suffer, your appetite will quickly, quickly deteriorate. Last thing that I'm eating before my workout, it's two o'clock right now. I'll probably be going to work out in about an hour and 30 minutes. I'm going to have four chocolate rice cakes. Now, I a lot of people like to eat their carbs, like their pre-workout carbs, like 30 minutes before their workout. I personally feel like it takes a lot more time for me to actually digest the carbs in order to be able to utilize them and help with the pump during my workout. So I eat these about an hour and a half to two hours before, and then I feel like my workout is usually a lot better. Just finished up my leg day. I'm absolutely exhausted. So it's gonna be nice to get some calories back into me. So pretty much what I have right here is I have about eight ounces of the 90 
10 ground beef mixed up with some spaghetti sauce. And then I've got rigatoni noodles in there as well. And then I've got a full cup of corn. And then I've got a cup or a slice of sourdough bread. Pretty much what this is going to be is like my last big push to get most of my calories in before the end of the day. It'll probably end up being somewhere around a 2000 calorie meal, but we'll see how it goes. I'll probably throw a Yasso bar and some other things in there as well. So cheers and hopefully this refuels me and gets me ready for chest day tomorrow. So I devoured that meal and now I'm going in for another artesian roll with the same raspberry spread on top. These are really good. They've helped me a ton when it comes to just like getting more calories in. Put a ton of raspberry spread on there, um, more than the one that I had earlier today, but that's another like really, really easy, like 400 plus calories for me and it tastes super good. So it kind of acts as dessert.